These are some of the craziest IG and Facebook live moments of all time. Starting with a dude from Alabama named Chris, who was driving around the city begging to be shot at since he wanted to see what hood stands on the most business. Because you can hear Chris riding through the first hood, and he lets the live know that they just hit him up. Oh, this car coming in hot. Oh, they want to land down. This just shot me out. Look, my window bush. I hold my car. Is it just shot me out, y'all? After getting shot at by some dudes from the first hood, Chris then lets everyone on the live know that dudes from Inslee actually stand on business. He then calls out the next hood and says it's their turn. Show them they're about it too, or better than Inslee. I don't bleed. I think I'm bleed. He's just shot me out. So, he ain't talking about some. They talking about some over here. They see what they're talking about. He ain't just with me. I ain't gonna call police on y'all, bro. Y'all chill. Y'all scream. Y'all ain't got rap, ain't it? Chill. Everybody chill. I'm getting out of there. Chris keeps letting everyone know that Inslee and Birmingham's actually about it since they hit him. But now he wants Bessemer to take him out. See if they're actually about that life. He's about that out. Birmingham about that shit out. Damn, who about it? Who ready? Kishan, you ready? It's your turn with the 308. I think they were shooting a nine. I think. I think it was a nine shooter. Chris then let everyone on the live know he was headed to Shell's gas station in Bessemer so they could go ahead and take him out. I'm gonna get y'all out I'm gonna get y'all out I'm gonna get y'all out y'all British to take me out on that. Up in the park at Shell. Up in the park at Shell. Y'all gonna win race. Y'all one shot. Ah. Them boys in to clap me out. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna let Bell some I was born and raised in Bell's Mount about me. Not too long after pulling up at the gas station, some random dudes pulled up to help Chris out since he was hurting. But seconds later, the camera goes black and you can hear firing in the background. Come here. Move my leg. Come here. Come on, dude. No, you ain't. Thankfully, Chris ended up making it out of this situation alive, but unfortunately, not too long after this, he ended up losing his life at another gas station in Bessemer, Alabama. Now, let's move on to a man that got caught slipping on live after he just got done robbing someone. The man went on live and started dissing and flexing on the man that he had just robbed since it was one of his ops. Man, it raw. God, man, I be striking for real. Y'all know what the going on, God, man. Get away, though. Ain't I just robbed me after. My Muslim brother. Seconds later, someone who must have been watching his live and knew his location pulled up and robbed the robber and took everything from him, including the car he was in. Straight like that. And I got me a key for every week, big get away to any 50 folks on me. Got the car. Bro, give me that chain. Got it. Flexing it. Got it, bro. You flexing it. But this next man didn't have any problems with his ops on live. Instead, it was the cops. In May 2020, a 21-year-old named Sean Reed was driving down I-65 in Indianapolis when an unmarked cop car saw Reed driving recklessly and almost hit another vehicle. So he began following him and even requested backup inside the vehicle. Sean was on live while driving, and when backup arrived, they ended up getting into a high-speed chase for about 10 minutes. <laughs> The chase eventually ended when Sean drove into a local business and parked. He attempted to get out and run away, which led to Sean getting tased by the police. Get the out. Oh baby, oh baby, what's this, Michigan and what? Michigan and what, Ace? I'm finna park this motherfucker. on mid 60 second in Michigan. Somebody come get my stupid Please come get me. Please come get me. Please go get me, I'm on 60 second in Michigan. I just parked this Go. Please come get me. Not long after getting tased, shots can be heard going off in the background from the police. The live stream continued after he was hit, with more than 6,000 people still watching. The video also captures police comments after Sean had been hit, because one officer can be heard saying, I think it's gonna be a closed cast, girl. Probably, probably run right after here. him and then tase him. And then I'm saying, that's a good thing to shoot at him. That's yeah. solid. One of the detectives eventually notices the phone and ends the live. But the video quickly started going viral on social media, leading to accusations of police brutality. Police claimed that Sean fired first and they were just protecting themselves. But the comments definitely weren't a good look. The officer who did it was put under investigation and Sean's mother ended up winning a wrongful death lawsuit for $390,000 in February, 2023. But now let's talk about GBO Gaston because he's a LA rapper known for dissing people for clout. After Nipsey passed, he started claiming that it was his body. Gaston originally came up as a gaming YouTuber, but he started going crazy on social media, chasing clout and trying to act hard. He threatened dudes like Crip Mac on IG Live before. And there's even one video that surfaced that shows him blowing at one of his ops while they were on IG Live with each other. Where's Todd? Tell me. 
He signed the Aaron email. The dude wasn't phased by what GBO Gaston did, since he knew Gaston wasn't really about that action. This clip went insanely viral, since no one had ever seen anything like that before on live. But the video only gets crazier, because Gaston isn't the only rapper who got famous from crazy incidents that happened on live. Because Honeycomb Brazy has had multiple incidents on live that could have costed his life. Because in November 2020, Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy went to buy a Kobe Bryant jersey from someone in Montgomery, Alabama. And Brazy was chilling in a parked car outside a barbershop with some of his partners showing off the jersey to everyone on his live. But suddenly, things went left, then shots started going off. I had to buy another one, man. We need a big man. Whoever the big man, stop for real in the post for real, come yeah, get it, man. Yeah, you got me shit like Kobe. We can't let the rebound got it. for real, come he get it. Got it. <laughs> come get it if it's like rebound. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Don't pop, nigga. <laughs> Dead wing. The screen goes black, but more rounds are fired in the background. Thankfully, everyone made it out of this situation safe. Brazy later released the surveillance footage from outside the barbershop to show another angle of when we're down. A gray SUV can be seen driving by them before Brazy's friends start ducking down behind the car. And a few days after the incident, Brazy went back on live to explain what happened. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> the shooters hit the car up pretty bad, and you would have thought Brazy would have been more cautious before going live after this. But a few months later, he was back in the hood chilling with some of his people. Until out of nowhere, you can see this in the background. So man, y'all already know y'all. Y'all know that money bag, yo, D man. Y'all know what's going on, man. I swear to and it doesn't end there with Brazy, because on February 17th, 2021, a man and a lady lost their life while inside their home after someone hit the house up very badly and firebombed it. Firefighters were called to the scene after the fire was started, and other people in the community streamed it on Facebook Live. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Man, see about your mama, man. Lord have mercy. The victims were identified as Tony Lewis and Aaliyah Lewis, and they're the grandparents of mobile Alabama rapper Anika Brazy. One of the neighbors spoke on the situation as well when the news questioned them about it, and this is what they had to say. Watching TV and we heard gunshots, and actually saw some bullets go across our head, so we, we had to get down. We had to get, get down. Get down. And gunshots did you hear? I heard over 100, 100 shots. He was a father. He helped us raise our children. My mama and my daddy did not deserve to die like they did. And we want justice, cause ain't no peace. Ain't no peace in how they live here. More than a year after the incident, police arrested Darren Southall, Terrence Watkins, Jamarcus Chambers, and another suspect. And all of them were charged with two counts of murder and several accounts of shooting into a home. And one of the suspects was also known to be a drug kingpin. And sometimes, crazy things can happen on live, even if you're not affiliated with the streets. One day, a woman from Jacksonville, Florida, was preaching on her Facebook Live. And seconds later, you could hear her home getting hit with bullets while she was preaching. They don't want you to know about it. Thankfully, no one was harmed in this situation. And that isn't the only time something crazy happened to someone on live who had nothing to do with street politics. Because 38-year-old Warsaw Enegar was on live one day disagreeing with some things the Ethiopian government had done since he's from Ethiopia. But while live, some dudes ran up on both sides of the car demanding him to get out of the car. 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 Damn, I'm not playing with you. Seconds after he got out of the car, one of the carjackers got behind the wheel and drove off while the live was still rolling, till he eventually noticed the camera and hit the phone out of the way. Right, right. Hit this left. Right. Oh, you this is right. Not too long after this incident, Warsaw spoke about the incident to news reports. I'm so, I'm so scared because they have a gun. Uh, they need to shoot me. They say to get off your car. They take my car. And police were also able to recover Warsaw's car and get it safely back to him. Taking something from someone or even talking trash always comes with a huge risk because you never know how the person is going to retaliate. And that's what happened in this next clip. There's one gangster who was at the gas station just pumping gas until one of his ops spotted who he was and pressed him since he was talking crazy online. They caught him. Oh, that ain't who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. 
That ain't who I think it is. That ain't who I think it is. The dude seemed embarrassed since he didn't say anything. But seconds later, the person recording threw a hook and dropped the dude. You trip. You trip. You trip. Drop he went on to drop the dude about three times back to back since he claimed that the man shouldn't have been talking crazy to him and his people. And seconds later, he spotted the dude's friend in the car and went up and pressed him as well since he claimed he was also talking crazy. Who acting crazy? Who acting crazy? That you talking crazy too on? You talking crazy? Pull a gun out if you want to. Pull a gun out if you want to. Pop your Pull a gun out. He ain't help his homie. Look, he ain't help his homie. He ain't help his homie. He's a He's a bitch. I got him. Falling. And sometimes, it's just best to keep things off the internet and not to go live. Because this next man wasn't so lucky and ended up getting busted seconds after bragging about a shooting he had just committed on live. The dude had just popped someone and went on live seconds after the shooting to let everyone know about it while riding in the car with someone. The dude was obviously feeling himself after the shooting since he let everyone know how many times he hit his target. If you hit him, yeah, I hit the the four times, oh God. Oh God, I hit that I ain't got time to be talking, bro. He then went on to let everyone know that the shooting was going to make the news later that night since he put the dude in the hospital. I don't know I'm gonna shoot this. I'm God, I hit it about four times. Keep running for I'm already pissed off, bro. God, make the news, make the, make the god hood, make the news tonight. I wanna play. Put his in the hospital. And seconds later, after all the bragging on live, police pulled up on the dude, and this happened. I don't want And they turn around. I'm out on foot. They turn around, is Get out my face. I'm on my mama. Get out. Get out. Go, 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 go. And it seems like they must have been watching this live without him knowing. And that's how they quickly found out where he was. But it ain't always the dudes who have crazy things go down on live either. Because one day, this girl decided to take the police on a high-speed chase to try and get clout. The girls weren't even getting anywhere with the chase, and they instantly knew it was a bad idea. They quickly folded once the cops caught up with them. And that ain't the only time something crazy happened to some girls while on live, because a group of girls were on Facebook Live arguing with some of their ops. I hate people beat the type of fight. What the f they gonna do? And I guess they weren't prepared for what happened next because one of the people they were arguing with came up to them and sprayed bear mace in the car to get at them. Even though I wanted them to rock the rip. It seems best not even using live if you know you have ops, since it almost automatically gives them your location if they're familiar with the area. Because Chicago rapper Spider D went viral for a situation he had while on IG Live. Back in May 2020, he was outside talking about some new music he planned to drop, but out of nowhere, he changed the topic and started talking about his ops. Seconds later, you could hear a car pull up and someone hit at him with a button. On BD. They know, hey, you know what they say about the with the hoodie on in the summertime on BD. He ain't out here trying to play. BDN. Right up. According to internet rumors, Spider D had dissed someone named Jiski from a GD set because there's even videos of the two beefing with each other on Instagram Live. Break it down to beef and what beef? Folks, what them beef don't do know you. Folks, what them don't know you. Folks, what them don't know you. Thankfully, 
Spider wasn't harmed in the situation, but Chicago is a wild city with one of the highest murder rates in the country. And things have got so bad that back in 2017, a 20-year-old pregnant woman was driving around the west side of Chicago. Her boyfriend was in the passenger seat while the nephew was in the back seat. The woman was on Facebook Live listening to music while driving around the city when suddenly a fire erupted. The woman can be heard yelling while at least 12 shots can be heard off camera. The woman eventually gets out of the car and runs to get help from a nearby house. She can be heard telling witnesses to call 911. Thankfully, the woman survived. But unfortunately, a boyfriend and the nephew passed away. The man was identified as Lazaric Collins and was believed to be the target of the shooting. The woman told police that another car blocked her way as she was driving down an alley. And that's when a dude got out of the car and started firing. So, it sounds like an attack that was linked to gang violence. And that isn't the only time something crazy has happened on a live in Chicago. On March 31st, 2016, a man named Brian Fields was hit while standing outside a gas station in Chicago. At the time of the incident, he was looking down at the cell phone or recording himself on Facebook Live. Just before the shooting, he could be heard telling the camera, they said they heard I was up here, so they had to open the store back up for the kids. And I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. I heard I was up here, so they had to open the store back up for the kids. I need somewhere to duck and hide for cover. Minutes later, shots can be heard, and the suspect is briefly shown on camera. Brian was hit multiple times, including at least once in the face. Brian was rushed to the hospital in critical condition, and thankfully, he pulled through. The shooter wasn't arrested, but police believe that it was gang-related. But not long after pulling through, Brian's enemies came back and took his life a few months later. Because Brian lost his life while sitting in a white two-door vehicle in the 1900 block of West Garfield Boulevard. Now, let's move on to a dude from Alabama named Huncho De Niro, who was on live arguing with some of his ops one day since they fell out with each other. You going live about me for? Man, I said you ain't gang. You ain't gang. You ain't hanging around me and sitting in the Ray Ray? The kids just wait. Oh, mom. Come on, through the plan. I'm a dump. Oh. Huncho eventually sees his ops ride by, so he drops the phone and they get into a quick standoff. On Facebook, I ain't beef with no. On Facebook, I ain't beef with no. I ain't beef with the North Side because of no more. I ain't beef with love because of these. He then tells them to drive by again since he was ready for whatever. It seems like the dude he was beefing with must have been watching his live because literally, like three seconds later, they hit the block again. More shots can be heard before he runs into the house and ends the live. On the right, right, spin back through. I ain't playing with none of y'all. Oh, no wait. They hit record. I'm gonna shoot. Man, I'm gonna shoot while they. Drive down the street while they But Ancho isn't the only one who went crazy on live when seeing his ops, because this next dude did the same. Because one day, Freshy and his friends were chilling on the block, dancing and listening to some music while on IG Live, until one of the men noticed someone unusual pass by them. Once they noticed who it was, Freshy and his boys instantly started trying to chase the dude down. No. That's Quay. Yo, we on it. What am I about? No, he's on your boy. Quay. We had caught you, boy. Quay. And we ain't got no Quay. The dude named Quay that they were chasing was too quick and ended up getting away since he was riding a dirt bike. But not long after this incident, Freshy and some of his homies ended up catching the dude named Quay once again, but this time while he was at work. What? I don't want no beef. What? I don't want no beef. What, Quay? And that's why you always have to be careful when going live. Especially when you're in the streets, since you never know who's watching. One night, Bugatti was live on Instagram, chilling in his car and talking to fans. Until someone off camera approached Bugatti's car, telling him he needed to move the car since he was in front of his house. And eventually, they started arguing, and things got so bad that the guy tried robbing him. Ain't you that rapper? Yeah, what's up? Cool, cool. Man, I heard you got them features going for sale. You can't for sale. I'm waiting on somebody, bro. Yeah. What you want? What you waiting on? <laughs> what you want, fam? Man, what this bro? I'm just trying to make sure everything all good. No one could tell what was going on, but you could hear them tussling in the background before shots started going off and before someone ended the live. And it's not clear if Bugatti got hit, but he's still dropping music and doing interviews. So if he got hit up, he kept it on the low and made a full recovery. Good call. Good call. Where y'all going at? Where y'all going at? Get this, get this.
and his next dude had a similar situation happen to him. But it seems like he got off on the robber. In the video, a man can be seen with a large stack of money, showing it off to the camera. He also keeps dissing some of his ops, claiming they aren't getting money like him. Ain't none of y'all get no money. He then goes on to claim he made all that in 10 minutes just from trapping. He also let the viewers know that he lost a few racks yesterday while shooting dice. Get 10 minutes in, finna bust another play. On God, on my life, on Jesus, finna bust another play. I ain't taking no trips nowhere, none of that. Busting play, none. Three, two bands from dice yesterday. The dude keeps talking trash to the camera for a few minutes while flexing the money. Then, out of nowhere, things went left because this happened. You got it? 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 The camera then goes black for a minute and shots can be heard going off in the background. It seems like the dude recording is the one firing. The camera then comes back into focus and the man can be heard yelling. What the? How you delete this? How the you delete this bro? How the you get out this Seems like the dude got as far away from the scene as possible. But unfortunately, the man in the next clip never left the scene and things ended bad. Because the father of four goes live on Facebook begging for help during a construction fire. The man lets everyone on live know his location and says that he can't get out. Yo, I'm in South Park right now at work. And the building on fire and I can't get out. It's getting harder and harder for them to see us. We're gonna have to stand out here and see. The building on fire, I'm trapped inside, me and my man. After a while, the man started screaming for help since no one was coming and the smoke was heavy, so no one couldn't really see him. Yo, this building is on fire. I'm at work. Somebody send help. Unfortunately, the man passed away in the fire, and his mother was watching his final moments play out since she was watching his Facebook Live. Just from the live and the way the room filled up with smoke, I didn't see it being any hope. But a loving father, caring person, and he just wanted to be with his children. In this next clip, a 19-year-old man from Memphis named Zeke Huncho. On September 7, 2022, Zeke randomly started driving around Memphis, firing at random people while streaming it on Facebook Live. I don't wag on camera. I pull up and do this I don't do it. What them say? No faking. No faking. Hear me? This real. Oh, my mama, Kate, how you think I'm playing? Kate, I'm for sure real. This real. Zeke was riding around the city, crashing out, and doing this to almost any random person he had seen while on live. Zeke ended up hitting four people, and all of them passed away. Another three were hit, but survived, and an eighth victim was carjacked and thankfully uninjured. Memphis police ended up putting out an alert warning everyone in the city about Zeke that said, be on the lookout for a male black occupying a blue or silver sedan, possibly an Infinity or Nissan, who was responsible for multiple shootings. We are getting reports that he is recording his actions on Facebook. We do not have a specific location of where he is now. If you have have any information of his whereabouts, call 911 immediately. Not long after the statement, police ended up catching Zeke after he crashed a Dodge Challenger that he carjacked from someone near Ivan in Hodges Road. They got him! Oh girl, they got him. There you go, right there. There you go, girl, there you go. I got the best seat in the house, and you do too. I told you, America. They got him, girl. Oh Lord, they got him. Thank God they got him, though, because all kind of destruction and things. Zeke is facing a long list of charges, including three counts of first degree murder, reckless endangerment, and the commission of an act of terrorism. But Zeke isn't the only one from Memphis who has something crazy happen live. A young Memphis rapper named PSO Emmett was attending a funeral for his friend Jamarco Smith, another teen from Memphis who passed. On the way to the funeral, Emmett's cousin, PSO Dede, went live on IG, which showed them walking with a group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. Towards the end of the live, Dede and the dudes started taunting their ops, telling them they ain't on nothing and never did anything to them. Never been on no good been on I ain't, I ain't never sent the slings out of our way. Oh God. Oh God. Talk. I bet you don't make it off.
Not long after all the dissing, a group of shooters pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, hitting both Emmett and his cousin Dayday before fleeing. Dayday was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett was pronounced dead on the scene. And even though P.S. Emmett was known for showing guns in his music videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the news that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. Emmett's father also felt the same way. I'm trying not to break down on this camera because I want my Mr. Church. I want my son's killers brought to justice. A 22-year-old named David Lee was later arrested in connection with the shooting, and he is being charged with first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Police also arrested Rico Lee, another person who had something to do with the shooting. And if you enjoyed the video, click this other video on the screen. Trust me, you'll enjoy it too.